Welcome to a new Siemens Connected Home training video. In this video, we're gonna see how to pair this device that is the RDZ101ZB and is basically a thermostat. So this device doesn't have any relay inside. As we're gonna see during uh, this short training, the relay is deported to this device. So basically, the first thing I'm gonna do is to pair this device to the hub and then later on, I'm gonna be pairing this device to the hub as well and say that this device is acting as relay for this thermostat RDZ101. So uh, the very first thing I want to do is to go into my mobile application and I'm gonna be adding this thermostat to the bedroom, for instance. So I click on the plus add device and this time I choose RDZ101. So it says that I need to press the standby button for five seconds to begin the joining network. So as the RDZ100 device, this RDZ101 has a little hole here that allows me to lift the front plate of the device. So I put my little screwdriver here, lifts the front plate, and you see that I can put the batteries in there. So, and the device is ready to pair. Um, regarding the mounting plates, I can either mount this device on the wall or since it's fully wireless device, I can also use this mounting plate that comes in the box as well. So I'm gonna be using this mounting plate and I can put it here behind and use this little screw to screw it in. And then I can put the front plates back in. Okay, so we were saying that we wanted to join this device to the hub. So the app tells me that I need to press on this standby button for five seconds. And you see that the joining sign is flashing, meaning that this device is now in joining mode. I put pressed on the app and basically it's starting the joining process on the hub and you see that the Zigbee LED is blinking, meaning that the hub is in joining mode. And you saw that actually it's back to fully lit, meaning that basically now the device is joined already. So I don't even uh, have the time to finish the explanation that the device is already paired to the hub. And you could see here as well that now the joining sign is fully led as well, meaning that the device is paired. So in the app, I can now rename this device thermostat and I can select the room I want it to be in. So I'm going to say bedroom and save. Very good. So we now have this thermostat in the bedroom. So what I was explaining just before is that this device doesn't have any relay inside. It's basically a very simple device. And what we need to do is to pair this device to the hub and tell the system that this will act as a relay for this device. So still in the bedroom, I put add device and I'm gonna click on receiver. And you see here at the very bottom that it can act as a thermostat relay and that's exactly what we want to have. So uh, the device binds to the RDZ100 thermostat and act as remote on off thermostat relay. In the app, the RDZ101 thermostat and receiver must be installed in the same room and the device act as well as a network repeater. So I'm clicking on this one and I need to press on this button until the LED flashes green. It flashes green, so I say pushed and this device will then connect to the hub. You see that now the LED is steadily green, meaning that the device has paired properly. And in the app, I have this device called thermostat relay, and I'm gonna be selecting it to go into uh, the bedroom, save, and there we go. Now we have the thermostat relay and the thermostat in that same bedroom. And let's say the use case for this is if in each room you have a zone valve and you have on the floor and you have like a zone valve at the entrance of each room, then you can install this device either fully remote or using that plate to fix it on the wall. And then next to the zone valve, use this device to open and close the valve to control the temperature and the heating in that zone. Or you can also use this device next to your underflow heating and have it to turn on or off the valve that you have on your underflow heating manifold. So that would be the use case. 
One last thing I want to tell you about this product, the same as the RDZ100 thermostat, if you want to perform the factory reset, what you need to do is to press the plus and the minus button at the same time for 10 seconds. So if I go here and I press the plus and the minus at the same time, and I wait for the 10 seconds, basically you see that the thermostat restarted and now we don't have it linked and paired to the hub anymore and we would need to perform this action again. So now um, the device is in factory state. That's it, thanks a lot for watching this video and see you in the next video.